welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. I want to show my beautiful hair clip thanks to my friends at Bougie Fragrance and that would be Dawn and Photography Guy. I will list their channel below. If you haven't subscribed to them yet, please do. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. So they made me this beautiful Swarovski crystal clip and it's so, so sweet and I love it. And thank you so much. You guys are so sweet and I love their channel. So do subscribe. I'm going to be talking about Ellie Saab's Essence line. So this is a line of fragrances that came out several years ago. There are nine fragrances in the line and each is inspired by a note or notes or accords. Upscale line from Ellie Saab. So this is a request from Holly at Perfumed Vegas. Also check her channel out. I will list her below too. She's also got a great channel. I have several of these fragrances and I have a couple in travel spray. And I also have my Perfumes the Guide book from Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez, which is a kind of a review book of lots of different perfumes, both designer and niche and a couple of celebrity. But in here, they actually reviewed four from the line. So I'm just going to talk briefly about that. I'm going to start by sharing that I love these fragrances. They're beautiful. They smell expensive. They're special. Um, I just think they're gorgeous, the ones that I've tried. Um, I have found that the longevity is not great, like only maybe, I only get two to three hours. If you have a different experience, I would love to hear about that down in the comments. I'm hoping it's just me because these, these are so gorgeous and I just want them to last. So um, currently many of them have been discontinued and are hard to find. I know they have a couple that are on Fragrance Net and a couple other similar sites like Fragrance Buy and Fragrance X. There are a couple that are still available, but mostly they're a little bit hard to find. So um, the first one that I have is number one. So this is Essence number one, Rose. This has four kinds of rose. It has Bulgarian, Damask, Turkish, and Centifolia. And I know there's other stuff in here because I'm getting like lots of... Um, lots of interesting spices or something. So this one smells very, it's very deep, rich, and spicy to me, and I really love it. It's interesting. I think it smells much better on the skin than out of the bottle or on paper, because um, I'm actually not crazy. Smelling it out of the bottle doesn't really do much for me, but I love it on the skin. But unfortunately, this one only, I only get a couple, two, three hours out of it, but it's gorgeous. Um, so I'm just gonna go into the book a little bit just because I think I always think it's interesting. So Luca Turin, Tanya Sanchez gave number one rose four stars, and they say it's like cola rose. I also forgot to mention the nose behind this whole line is Francis Kirkshawn of Maison Francis Kirkshawn. So uh, Francis Kirkshawn was a perfumer bef long before he started his own perfume house. So he's done lots of really well-known and popular fragrances including this line, and he's also done things like My Burberry Black. He's just done a lot of really interesting fragrances. So they do mention citrus and cinnamon in here. I, I do detect the cinnamon. It achieves a delicious effect that makes me want to try stirring rose syrup into my next Coca-Cola. So, and then number two, Gardenia, is one I just have in Travel Spray. And this one has Gardenia, Jasmine, and Sandalwood. And this one also got four stars. And the highest rating you can get in this book is five stars. And so four stars is very good because these, these guys can be tough critics. So the Gardenia got four stars. This is the sort of fragrance that restores one's ebbing faith in cost, no object, perfumery. Really great classical work and for once arguably worth the money. So that's pretty pretty good praise and I really do like this one. Um, I just sprayed it on not too long ago and it's, you know, it's very, it's very faint. So I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping it's just me because these are so, so beautiful and I just wish they lasted longer. 
anyway, then number three is Ombre or Amber. And that I have this beautiful bottle. Um, and this one has Amber, Apopanex, Patchouli, and Sandalwood. And this one got three stars. I really love this one. It's my favorite Amber. Three stars, and they say bread amber. Manages a different twist and sneaks an inch closer to Shalimar by being fresher than most with a slightly sour tinge balanced appealingly against a quiet, invitingly edible note like bread dough. I guess I never thought about the bread aspect of it, but I actually have a more in-depth review of Ombra in a different video, which I'll put up in the cards. And um, again, it's my favorite amber fragrance, or I should say amber-centric. Uh, because lots of fragrances have amber in the base notes. This one is just really amber and it's gorgeous. I love it. I would probably give it higher than three stars out of five. But again, this one, I actually, I get better longevity out of this one than the other ones. So I do love this one. It's number four, Oud, which I don't have. And this one's pretty hard to find. I think it's got black pepper, benzoin, and Oud. And they gave it four stars elegant both on man and woman and probably best sprayed on fabric to safeguard the complexity of the top note accord so um I would love to get my nose on that one and um let me know if you've tried any of these what your thoughts are I'm definitely interested the next one is for some reason they skipped over five I don't know why um vetiver so number six is vetiver vetiver bergamot grapefruit, papyrus, and clove. And this one I have a travel spray of. This is beautiful. Um, I sprayed gardenia on one arm and vetiver on the other. And this one is also almost gone. So I don't know, it's beautiful, but fleeting. And then number seven is neroli, which has neroli, clove, musk, cedar. This one I think is actually available currently on Fragrance Net and Fragrance Buy, possibly. So um, I'm assuming it's a summery spin um, and I would like to try it, but I don't think I wanna get a full bottle. And then there's number eight, Santal, which is this one. And this has Cedar, vetiver, cardamom, osmanthus, apricot, suede, and sandalwood. So I think this is gorgeous. Um, so you get the sandalwood, but those other notes really amp this up to be so, so gorgeous and very gender neutral. All of these are gender neutral. Um, again, I only got it maybe two to three hours out of this which is sad because I just love these. But these are so beautiful that they're definitely worth decanting and throwing in my purse. So that's probably what I'm gonna be doing when I wear these, when I'm going out of the house again. So um, this is Santal and I really like this one. It's beautiful. And then there's nine tuberose, which has tuberose, bergamot, cinnamon, musk. And that's another one that I've seen available on Fragrance Net and Fragrance Buy. And finally, there's number 10, Amon's Tonka, which has almond, tonka, and, and woody notes. So that one sounds beautiful too. I do have commodity tonka, so I don't feel the need to necessarily try that one. But I'm very interested in oud and neroli and tuberose um, because I really, they all sound very beautiful. And I don't think I'm gonna be buying any more from the line. I don't think I need any more full bottles because like I said, I do have these three. I really like the Gardenia and the Vetiver, but their longevity just doesn't make them full bottle worthy to me personally. But again, I would love to hear your thoughts and um, comments on these fragrances and this beautiful line and what experiences you've had and do you like them? Do you think they're worth it? Um, yeah, so I don't know if they must not have done very well. I'm not sure where they were sold. I know they were sold, like I said, by Fragrance Net. That's where I think I got most of mine, with the exception of Santal, which I got on Fragrance Buy. But anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And any review requests you have for perfumes in my collection, I would love to hear those. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you.